Good afternoon. It is March 18th. March 18, 2013. And here I sit again in total bewilderment at what is going on in American politics. I don't understand it. It's very important to me. I, and this country and how we run ourselves re means something to me. And I see I see Republicans. I see Republicans at this conference uh, this morning claiming that all they need to do is improve their message, get their message out in a better fashion. They blame their loss in 2012 on not getting the message out like the Democrats did. They, and they don't understand. They got the message out perfectly. The, the message was wrapped up entirely in, in Mitt Romney's little speech wherein he complained about the 40% of Americans who are on the take, the 47% of us who are on the dole, the 47% of us who have no initiative, the 47% of us who only want to give and take care of the other 53%. The 47% of us who simply uh, have, no, uh, have no money. And uh, he made it very clear that the Republican Party is, in fact, the, Repu the party of, of rich white people. Uh, it hasn't always, it has always sort of been in my thinking, ever since uh, I watched, uh, well, Eisenhower. Eisenhower was the first Republican I watched get elected. I was 12 years old at the time. But he was, he was a smart man. He would go down as a liberal Democrat today. He would be far more liberal than anybody in office, anywhere that I know of. But uh, this morning on television, on this, some conference of Republicans, they're rewriting the, the Republican uh, charter, manifesto. And they're not rewriting anything. They're just saying, well, we didn't get our message out. And uh, we, we don't reach enough people in this country. And of course, they don't re reach enough people in this country. They're not going to reach the blacks and the Hispanics because they, they don't understand the black and Hispanic way of life. Now, we are fortunate in New York that we get to know close up the, quote, Hispanic way of life. And it's quite beautiful. It's quite loyal. It's quite loving. It's, it's not white American style living. It's, uh, it's very cultured and kind. And they take care of themselves. They take care of each other. As some white people do, too. Some white people do that. A lot of white people do, now that I think of it. But the Republican manifesto is, no, no, let's cut Medicare. Let's cut Medicaid. We, we refuse to pay any more taxes, even though we're paying the lowest taxes in, since taxes came out. I mean, I remember my father, in 1960, my father paid like 67% income tax. 67%. Um, I now pay 40 because with city, state, and federal taxes, my after-tax income is 40%. I pay a lot of taxes. But the rich, they don't want to tax their, uh, their investment income over, what, 15% is it? They, they just don't want to give any money to the government. They want the, the government to stop paying for sick people. They stop Medicare, stop Medicaid, and let's cut back Social Security. I mean, even though it's an unlivable wage for so many people, people, some people just can't get by on their 11000 a year. Don't ask me why. 11000 seems like fine to me. Sure. Right, $11,000. And the Republicans wonder, and there's Karl Rove up there, big fat Karl Rove. I finally realized, I think the Republican Party has been taken hostage by Karl Rove. And George Bush, George Bush wanted out, uh, George W. 
he saw what was happening. He wanted out. But Karl Rove owns the Republican Party. It's his franchise. And as long as he can make millions and millions and millions of dollars from it, he will keep advertising the same old garbage as ever. And he's doing it. Creating the same problems. I mean, it's just... He, he represents the rich. He's found a way to represent rich politicians, uh, rich corporations, and put some kind of bogus message out there. Now, I mean, they had some kind of chance with Obama because of, of Obama's blackness, Obama's black. But now when Hillary Clinton comes in next in three years, is it three years already? I don't know when. It won't be too long, 2016. I guess she'll be inaugurated in 2017. They don't stand a chance against her. They don't stand a chance. And now all we have to do is get the Republican, crazy Republicans out of Congress and we can start moving on and start maybe dealing with pollution and start dealing with uh, energy forms that uh, don't pollute the atmosphere and cars that uh, get 70, 80, 90 miles to the gallon. It's all doable. It's all doable. But... You know, there are, there are strong financial reasons why we're not doing that. And it's all Karl Rove and Republicans and Republicans and Karl Rove and corporations. And we've got to get senators who, who uh, are not bought by those corporations. We have to do that. It's, it's time. We have to do that. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm running for president again. If you find somebody better, by all means... But make it sure it's somebody who feels like I do. Okay. Thank you.